Hello friends, this video on rational numbers part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now the first question that might be coming to your mind is why do we even need rational numbers when we already have whole numbers, natural numbers, integers, fractions, decimals. So what, where is the need of having rational numbers? For that let me give you an example. So let's look at this example. So we have two kids named Rohan and Sohan. So let's say this is Rohan and this is Sohan. Now both of them are hungry and they are both given one one pizza. Now how much did Rohan eat? So Rohan ate one fifth of the pizza. That is Rohan ate one slice out of the five slices of the pizza. What about Sohan? Sohan ate the complete pizza. That means Sohan ate one complete pizza. So he ate all the five slices of the pizza. Fine. Now, what about Rohan? So he ate just one fifth of the pizza. So how much is left with him? So four slices are still left with him. That means four fifth of the pizza is still remaining with Rohan. Right? But what about Sohan? Now Sohan has ate the entire pizza. So right now nothing is left with him. So he doesn't have anything but Sohan is still hungry. He still wants to eat something. So what can he do? Because he doesn't have any more pizza. He was given one pizza and he ate it all. So now what he does is he asks Rohan to give him a slice of pizza from his pizza because Rohan still has four slices of the pizza. So what he does, he basically takes one slice of pizza from Rohan. So Rohan gives one slice of pizza to Sohan. So what's happening here? So basically Sohan is borrowing one slice of pizza from Rohan. So how much is this? So how much is this one slice? This one slice is one out of five slices, right? Because the pizza was divided into five equal slices. So this is basically one fifth of the pizza. So Sohan gets one fifth of the pizza. But he has borrowed this pizza from Rohan saying that, okay, you give me one slice of pizza now. I will return you one slice of pizza when later I get another pizza. So today we both got one one pizza. Again, some other day when we both get one one pizza, I will return you this one slice of pizza which I am borrowing today. So on that condition, he was given one slice of pizza by Rohan. So that means if I ask you, what is the balance or how much pizza right now Sohan has? Now earlier, initially Sohan had one complete pizza. Once he ate that pizza, his balance was zero. He had no pizza. Now that he has borrowed one fifth of a pizza from Rohan, so what is his balance? His balance is basically minus one by five because he has to return this one slice of pizza to Rohan. So this is not his own. Since it has been borrowed from Rohan, which he has to return, so this is basically minus one by five. So gradually what happened as Sohan keeps eating, his balance is reducing. Initially he had five slices of pizza, then he had zero slices. Now he has minus one by five of the pizza. Now if I ask you something, do we have numbers like these which can represent negative of fractional numbers. So we have learned about fractions and we saw that fractions always talk about numbers which are not whole like 1 by 2, 2 by 3, 1 by 5, 11 by 13. These are all fractions. But whenever we have spoken about fractions, we have only talked about the positive numbers. But what about those numbers which look like fractions but they are negative? So how do we represent these numbers? So we really did not have any such number which can include these numbers. And that is where we initiated or that is where the need of rational numbers came into being. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.